Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Um, I'm excited to be filming the second video for my channel. Um, it took me a long time to actually get around to making this channel and especially getting my first video uploaded to it. Um, I took a long time trying to figure out what I wanted to make videos about and trying to get things just right so I put it off for a long time. Finally got around to just making my first video which wasn't much and the fact that I'm actually filming for my second video, like I said, I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. Um, so I've been racking my brain throughout the week trying to come up with ideas for what I want to make videos about. Not even just like specifics, but well, about specifics and about generalities. You know, what type of channel I wanted to make videos for. Um, so I think for this episode, I'm not sure if it's going to be a continuing theme, but for this episode, I think I want to make it kind of like a podcast about gaming, video gaming. Um, I play games regularly enough, and I've played enough games, I think, to be able to talk about them for you know quite a bit. And I think it's something I could enjoy. So I guess we'll find out if, or I guess time will tell if this continues. Um, so today's video probably won't be super long. I don't have all that much space on my memory card. I want to get around to buying a bigger one, but today's video will probably be not all that long. So as far as games, um, I play a variety of games. One of my favorite genres though are like RPG action adventure games, you know, Legend of Zelda series, uh, Far Cry, the, I've played one Far Cry game all the way through, and another one somewhat. Um, there are various other RPGs, action-adventure games I'd like to talk about, but I think for this episode, I'll talk largely about um, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild for the Switch. Now, I didn't get a Switch until not all that long ago. Um, I think it was like back in June or July or something like that. Um, I bought the Switch, and I bought Ocarina of Time, or not Ocarina of Time, um, Breath of the Wild, and Mario Kart 8. Um, I've played several Legend of, or at least, what, three? At least three Legend of Zelda games um, besides Breath of the Wild, and I like them. I've actually beat Ocarina of Time, which was the first Legend of Zelda game that I played back on the 64. Um... Breath of the Wild is quite a bit different than Ocarina of Time. Um, Ocarina of Time, I mean, it was there. There were puzzles to figure out still. There was, but it it seemed still less complicated than Breath of the Wild. You know, Breath of the Wild, you've got weaponry that breaks. You know, your your sword, your spear, your bow, your shields. They break. They have a. They can only take so many hits before they break. Um, which was different than, like, say, Ocarina of Time, where, like, your Kokiri sword, it didn't break. Your Master Sword, it didn't break. Um, you could get, like, a, a sword from a giant Goron that would break, but, you know, most of your equipment would last you the life of the, would last you throughout the game. So that was an element that kind of takes some getting used to. Um, picking up ingredients and cooking them for, like, not only as health restoratives, but also, uh, for like status effects like increased defense, increased attack power, stuff like that. That's kind of new. Um, Ocarina of Time, you could get like a red potion or Lon Lon milk or a fairy for health restoratives. But like your red potion, your red potions, I think you would usually like buy in a store. Lon Lon milk, you could get from cows, stuff like that. You didn't have to like cook the ingredients together for special meals. But I kind of like that aspect of it. Um, the stamina. Stamina kind of takes some getting used to, because in Ocarina of Time, I mean, you didn't run all that fast, it seemed, but, like, you could roll across a field to get to your destination. You didn't have to stop every so often to slow down and kind of, like, let your let Link rest to restore his stamina. Um, but on the bright side, you do get the climbing ability in this game. So, like, whereas it seemed in previous games, if you wanted to get to a particular area, you might have to take the route that the game developers wanted you to take to get to like say you know a high plateau to get an item whereas with breath of the wild you can climb up you can paraglide over to more areas i think it gives more freedom as far as 
being creative in your approach to get to an area. So, I mean, I think the stamina wheel kind of balances that out. Um, of course, you run out of stamina doing things like running, um, some fighting moves, paragliding, climbing, breaking horses, or like, you know, like going out to catch a horse. It, it, especially if you get one of the ones trying to buck you off, um, you can run out of stamina doing that. Um, overall, even with the added complexities, I like the game. I like the graphics in it. I kind of like the storyline. Um, I like that it's in the Switch so I can play it portably. I can play it, or I can, it's portable. I can play it in the car and also, like, put it in the dock when I get to, like, say, a house and play it on the big screen, which is really convenient. Um, the shrines, I like the shrines. They've got, like, a whole bunch of different puzzles or combat challenges to beat a shrine, and you get orbs from the shrine to buy additional health containers. Um, at this point, I haven't gone to fight, like, any of the, what do they call them, the Divine Beasts or something, so I don't know if, like, you get a heart container from boss battles like you did in some of the older games. But in the older games, you would find heart, like, pieces of heart, uh, and if you get, like, four or five of them, you would get another heart container to increase your health. Um, whereas in this one, you trade orbs for heart containers or stamina containers to increase your health or your total stamina amount. Um, and like, as far as like the game being fun to play, I don't know if, how much this means to you guys, but I would, I went on a vacation recently and I was staying up till like two in the morning playing this game. So it's, it's fairly fun. Um, it's, it's quite, it's still pretty different from the older games, but I like it and I would recommend it to somebody who is wondering whether or not it's fun to play. There's lots to do. The map is huge and I really like that. And there's like so much to explore. There's, and there's different regions. There's like rainforest area. There's beach. There's like, like beach areas. There's, um, desert area, lots to explore. Um, large variety of different, like, weapons you can get, um, some lower power, some really high attack power. Um, I like the variety of weaponry, it's not just swords, you can get spears, you can get boomerangs, you can get axes, um, so that's cool. The, what was it, there's, you can find, like, different, the, like, anomalies, or, like, kind of a puzzle to figure out small puzzle to figure out and you get like these little critters that pop up and give you Korok seeds. Um, you can trade to somebody to like increase the, your capacity for like, say bows. You can increase the amount of bows or weapons or shields that you can hold, which is really nice. I like a game that rewards you for looking around to find hidden details by actually having them there and like giving you an in-game advantage. So like in this case being the fact you can trade those seeds to increase storage capacity. Um, overall, like, I, in addition to, like, the game itself, I like the Switch console, and I think it matches pretty well with the game. Um, in other, like, as far as other Legend of Zelda games, I last year got a Nintendo 2DS XL, and I got Ocarina of Time and Mahora's Mask, so those are pretty, pretty cool. i I, I, I'm kind of partial to Ocarina of Time because it's probably because it's the first Legend of Zelda game that I've played and that I actually, it's the only one that I've actually beat, but I, I'd like to play the other ones. Um, I've got a lot of, of playing let, yet to do for Breath of the Wild. Like I said, I haven't beaten any of the Divine Beasts yet. I think that's what they're called, Divine Beasts. So... That's there's that yet to do, and I like the fact that it lets you kind of pick and choose to approach the story at the pace that you want. You don't have to like go take on this boss and then this boss in a particular order. You can go fight Ganon like pretty soon after starting the game. Um, I went and fought him in the castle, like was it the various four forms of Ganon or something like that. 
Um, so I went and fought him with like only four heart containers fairly early on, did fairly well, but didn't like beat them all. So, but I like the fact that the game gives you the opportunity and the chance to try it out. You might not win, but you get the opportunity to go take on something wildly over your current level if you want to. Um, let's see. I'm not too partial to the fact that like, if you get into an area with enemies with like pretty powerful weapons that can pretty much take you out with one strike. Um, I imagine as you kind of go through the game, you probably get better. I, you know, I've gotten better armor than I started with. And I imagine you get better and better stuff and defenses to the point where you're not quite so fragile, but it seems kind of annoying that you can be taken out with one strike. And that's even early on in the game, like with the uh, stone guardian things that shoot lasers at you. Um, overall though, I like the game. I think, I recommend, I, I, I would, if you're looking for a fun game to play and you have a Switch or you're looking at getting a Switch, I think it's a lot of fun and I hope to continue to play it more. And I also hope to have more to talk about on, or as far as that game. Um, let's see. What else? Um, I beat Far Cry 4. Last year, I know this is kind of getting on into a different game, but that's another fun one. Far Cry 4. I've played Far Cry 3, and it is kind of fun, but it's not. I liked Far Cry 4 the best, and I haven't hardly played 5 yet. So, as far as from experience playing it com and com to compare it to Far Cry 4, I haven't don't really have a lot of experience with 5, but I think. Four will probably continue to be my favorite. Um, it's kind of a different flavor of action adventure game rather than, you know, swords and shields and knights and stuff or nightlike stuff. It's, you know, assault rifles and sniper rifles and stuff like that. I like that, unlike Call of Duty, you get to pack so much more stuff. You can have up to like four rifles or four weapons. Well, not four rifles. One of them has to be a pistol, but four weapons like main weapons and you can have like throwing knives and uh, you get you can become so overpowered in far cry 4 it's it's great um i like the storyline i like the characters um that one's a pretty fun one and i'd like to talk about it more in detail um so I think this would be, I don't know if this, if the channel is going to continue to go on like this, but I kind of like talking about games and I think it could be something I could do and enjoy and probably get better at. Um, but I appreciate anybody who, who like watches this video and watches it through the end. And, uh, I hope to get better at making these videos come up with more to talk about as time goes on and um, I hope to get better and improve and have lots of good content for you guys to watch and enjoy um, if you guys watch this video and want to help me out and you if you like the video I'd appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up if you like it well enough you'd like to see more I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe it could help me out and provide perhaps provide some encouragement and uh, I hope to have more videos for you soon. Thanks. Bye.